The polls open at 8 a.m., with the final results likely to be announced in the early hours of Thursday morning. There will be live updates throughout the night at jerseyofeveningpost.com and full reports and analysis in Thursday's JEP. A total of 14 members have already been elected unopposed 11 constables and 3 deputies, meaning that there are still 35 seats to be fought for. A total of 77 candidates are contesting the available seats. The candidates have spent over a month on the election trail, taking in hustings events, doorstepping and canvassing for your votes. And more than 2,500 votes have already been cast in the pre-poll which closed on Monday afternoon. Senators Ian Gorst and Lyndon Farnham, as well as Stevie Ocean, have already confirmed their interest in the chief minister's job if they are successful tomorrow night. Deputies John LaFondre and Simon Bray have also indicated they could throw their hats in the ring for the top job if they poll well in the senatorial election. Meanwhile, the island's only political party reform jersey, which has fielded 18 candidates across the island, will be hoping for a successful night as they bid to up their standing within the state's chamber. Party chairman Sam Emmy Acute ZEC is seeking one of the eight senatorial seats while 17 other reform jersey candidates are seeking deputy seats. Whatever the outcome tomorrow evening, the next Council of Ministers will have a markedly different look to it as a large number of the island's most senior politicians are stepping away from politics. Treasury Minister Alan McLean, External Relations Minister Sir Philip Bailhash, Health Minister Andrew Green, Education Minister Rob Bryans, Infrastructure Minister Eddie Noel and Housing Minister Anne Pryke are all not seeking re-election. Neither are long-serving Senators Paul Rudier and Philip Ozuf. The number of retiring politicians means that the chamber is guaranteed at least 17 new faces when the Assembly reconvenes after the election to decide who should serve as Chief Minister for the next four years. In order to cast their vote, Islanders must be on the electoral register and have their ID with them when they head to the polling station tomorrow. Polling stations close at 8 p.m.